Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now the Three Bears lived in the forest. They had a lovely little house and it was a neat, tidy house. Very simple, very clean. And everybody liked the Three Bears. They were good bears. They were kind bears. A little rough and ready, but they were bears. And they loved their life in the forest. And Mama Bear would make wonderful bread and butter. And Daddy Bear would make wonderful jam. And Baby Bear loved eating it all. But best of all, they loved porridge. And their porridge was thick and it was creamy and it was delicious. And one morning, Daddy Bear, because this was his job, made the porridge. And he made it so smooth and creamy, it was perfect. And then he dished it into three big bowls. One bowl was his, that was the really big bowl. It was almost as big as a bucket because he was a very big, hungry daddy bear. And that he put lots of salt on because that's how he liked his porridge. Mummy bear had a middle-sized bowl, the size of a pudding basin because she was big and hungry, but not quite as hungry as Daddy Bear. And she put lots of sugar on hers. And Baby Bear, he had a nice little bowl like you or I might have. And he put a big dollop of cream and honey on his, because that's how he liked his porridge. And Daddy Bear tasted his and said, oh, it's a bit hot. And Mummy Bear said, let's go for a little walk in the wood. And then, when we come back, the porridge will be just right. Now, as I've said, everybody liked the three bears, so they never bothered to lock their door. They hadn't got anything valuable, and they liked everybody. If anybody came in, they were welcome to sit and wait for them until they came back. And so off they went, dancing and hopping and skipping down the path. And if you've ever seen bears dance and hop and skip, it's a rather lovely sight. Well. As they left, a little girl called Goldilocks came down the path. Now, Goldilocks isn't really the sort of little girl you might like to play with. She was nosy and a little bit sly. And she saw the bears going away and she thought, I'm going to go into their house and see what they've got. Now, I don't think she was planning to steal. I think she was just nosy. She went into the house, as I said, it wasn't locked, and she looked around their living room. Now, it's a really big square room, and there was a nice big wooden table, and three chairs, and the big fire where Mummy and Daddy Bear did their cooking, and three big easy chairs. Now, Goldilocks couldn't resist trying everything. So she sat on the big chair and she squiggled and she wriggled and she thought, this is a bit hard. And she tried the porridge, the big porridge in the bucket. And she thought, ugh, that's ever so salty. And so she went to the next one, Mama Bear's porridge. And she thought, mm, it's a bit sweet, but the chair looks comfy. And she tried sitting on the chair and she wriggled and she squiggled, but it was so soft with big cushions that she sank almost up to her neck in the cushions. And then she went to the other end of the table where Baby Bear's bowl was and Baby Bear's chair. And she started to eat the porridge. Oh, with the creamy honey. Oh, so good. She ate it all up. And she sat back on the chair thinking, oh, that was so good. But she sat down hard. And although Baby Bear was a baby bear and quite big, Goldilocks sat so hard she went right through the bottom of the chair and she ended up kaplonk with her bottom on the floor and her feet in the air. Oh, ouch, she said, wriggling and pulling and squiggling out. And then she ran upstairs just to see what they'd got upstairs. Well, upstairs was one big bedroom. There was Daddy Bear's bed first. It was quite a high bed and she jumped on it and she thought, oh, I'm going to play trampolines. And she went jump, 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 whee! But it was so hard she didn't have much spring. 
So she jumped from that bed to Mummy Bear's bed, which was next to it. And that was lower and softer, but it was so soft that it didn't bounce. When she went doing, it went right down and she didn't spring up again. And as you know, if you're going to bounce on a bed, you've got to do it properly. And then she went to the third bed, Baby Bear's bed, right by the window. And that was perfect. She went bounce, bounce, bounce. But after a little bit of bouncing, she thought, it does look a very cosy bed. And so still with her shoes on, shows what a naughty girl she was, she wriggled down under the bed and pulled the duvet over her head and thought, oh, this is nice. And then she heard the door opening. She thought, oh, help, the bears are downstairs. Um, I'm going to have to stay up here and hide and sneak out when they go out again. Otherwise, they'll catch me and I've been bad. Mm. So she pulled the duvet over her head and pretended she wasn't there. But it didn't do much good because downstairs daddy bear said somebody's been in here and he looked at his chair and he said somebody's been sitting on my chair because the cushion is all scriff and there's scrape marks on the bars of the chair where somebody sat with their muddy feet and then mummy bear said someone's been sitting on my on my chair because the the cushions are all squished washed and then Baby Bear said, someone's been sitting on my chair and they've broken it. Oh no! And then Daddy Bear said, someone's been eating my porridge. And Mummy Bear said, someone's been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear said, someone's eating my porridge. <laughs> I got a chair and I haven't got any porridge. And Daddy Bear thought, I wonder what's happened upstairs. And so he led the way upstairs. He's a big bear. He's not scared of anything. And he went upstairs and he said, someone's been bouncing on my bed. Look, it's a mess. And there's muddy footmarks. And mummy bear said, someone's been bouncing on my bed. The duvet's all a mess and there's muddy footmarks on that too. And baby bear said, someone's been bouncing on my bed. And they're still in it. <laughs> said the three bears and Goldilocks jumped out from under the duvet, looked around, flung open the window and jumped all the way into a tree by the window and from the tree she scrabbled down into the garden and she ran. Now, the old story says that they never saw Goldilocks again but I think the story needs a better ending. I think Daddy and Mummy Bear went to see Goldilocks's family and told her what had happened. And Goldilocks, in my story, was made to go and clean and tidy everything up and save up for a new chair for Baby Bear. What do you think?